So this is by the company, I think it's called CV Life. And here's the instructions. Everything came in this box and then this, this bag was inside this box. This was very simple to um, assemble. I'm just gonna kind of go over with you guys what I did. I went ahead and put it together here and I figured I'd just kind of do a walkthrough on what I did. So the base, there's a base right here. And this is where you put your stuff like your lenses and all that. And I'll actually show you. You got your lenses right here. So this is the, the 10 millimeter lens. See how it just fits down in there. You got your lens right there. Now I have the three times and the 25 millimeter lens already on here. All you do is insert this stuff here. This little bracket holds your pointer on. This slider just slides in. There's some additional mounts up here for maybe camera mounts and all that. Oh, and the camera mount. Check this thing out. So this camera mount will go on to right here. So you see, all you do is tighten that on. Now your cell phone's gonna go on here like this, and it's gonna line up. You're gonna line the camera up with your viewfinder right there, and you could take pictures. I actually like that they give you that setup right here. This is where all of your lenses go. They go in this little cap right here. I think this right here is for using with your cell phone. Yep, it's a wireless shutter for your cell phone. We don't need none of that crap. We're just gonna... We're just gonna run it. And let me show you actually taking these off. See how that comes off? And then this one will come off here. There's our 25. So they're all set up right there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out. There's nothing more I could show you to adjust it. You basically do the aperture right here on that. And this right here is how you're gonna turn it. See, you're gonna loosen that up, turn it. This right here will give you a little more, kind of like, so it doesn't move as much. You tighten it down. These legs tighten down right here. There are little covers right here. These covers come off that way. It sticks in the ground, so it's not gonna move. And the overall specs on this thing, let me give you guys some specs on this. So according to them, it's a 90 millimeter aperture to an 800 millimeter aperture, and it goes from 32X to 240X. So this this is a 240x like zoom on it and that's using the 25 and the 3 so I think that's what that is you'll use the 25 and 3 it's all set up right here and then this will kind of give you the focus if you need to turn it or anything you can always turn it and move it around right there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out the moon is rising show you the best I can using the camera I'm um, showing you through there it's pretty dark so it's hard to show you but I will throw some pictures up because I'm going to take some pictures using this thing right here. So yeah, let's go out there and let's um let's get to looking at the moon now. There, I don't know how well you can see it. You see my hand moving right there. There's the moon, but check this out. The telescope is set up. I used the viewfinder, the little star finder thing right here. I lined it up. I took the cap off and check it out. I have my cell phone on there and I don't know how well you can see this in the camera here, but there is the moon. You see how I can move the camera around and then i'm gonna go ahead and focus it let me grab the focus button right here let me take a couple of pictures for you guys and let me show you so let me get this thing set up a little better the i know it's hard to see in the camera because it's dark and it's light in the camera but let me go ahead and get a good focus on this thing that looks pretty good right there let's take a picture it just took a picture. <laughs> let me change lenses. This is on the 25 mil lens. Let me change lenses and let me show you what this thing looks like up close. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera. That's very difficult to show on the, like the screen with the camera. The camera doesn't want to pick up, but this is a perfect telescope for anyone that just wants to do some night viewing or maybe even like some long distance type bird watching or something. I think it'd be great for that or maybe waterfalls or something like that. So yeah, there it is everybody. That's all I got on the CB Life, you know, telescope with phone mount. See y'all in the next video.